And I've been telling from the day one that the sound system is not good, mashallah. I welcome all of you once again with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. It's a pleasure for me to be once again back to London, especially Harrow, after a span of eight months. I was here eight months back, and again, I'm alhamdulillah. And it's a pleasure to be with you again, once again. The topic of this evening's talk is seeking knowledge in the light of Islam. Your children are an amana. Give them the best education for both the worlds. It is a long topic, but it's basically dealing with seeking knowledge in the light of Islam. And that your children are an amana. So give them the best education for both the worlds. I started my talk by quoting a few verses from the Quran, from Surah Alaq or Surah Ikhra, chapter number 96, verse number 1 to 5. And if we analyze that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the glorious Quran, the first guidance that He gave to the whole of humankind, it was not to pray, it was not to fast, it was not to perform hajj, but the first guidance given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the glorious Quran to the whole of humankind was ikhra. It was to read, it was to recite, it was to proclaim. And I start my talk by quoting a few verses from the Quran, from Surah Ikhra, chapter number 96, verse number 1 to 5, where Allah says, Ikhra bismi rabbi kallazi khalaq. Which means, read, recite, and proclaim in the name of thy Lord who has created. Who has created the human beings from something which clings, a leech like substance. Read, the Lord is most bountiful. He who has taught the youth of pen has taught men that which he knew not. Though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the first guidance in the glorious Quran that we should read. But unfortunately, we realize that the Muslims, in the Muslim community, everyone does not read. And those Muslims who are involved in acquiring knowledge, in reading, they don't read as per the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah does not say only read, Allah says, Ikra bismi rabbi kallazi. Read in the name of thy Lord. Ikra bismi rabbi Read in the name of thy Lord. So when we read, when we acquire knowledge, we should acquire knowledge in such a way that we come closer to our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the knowledge does not bring you closer towards your Creator, towards your Rabb, then that knowledge is not useful for the Akhirah. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's a Sahih Hadith, which is mentioned in Ibn Majah, Hadith number 224, our beloved Prophet said, Talibul ilmi, seeking knowledge, Faridatun ala kulli Muslim, is obligatory on every Muslim. Seeking knowledge is obligatory on every Muslim, man or woman. It's compulsory that every Muslim should acquire knowledge. And it is the duty of us Muslims to see to it that we acquire knowledge. Many of us, we think that knowledge is only what we study in schools, in colleges, and universities. Education and knowledge starts at home. And the best teacher is the mother. It is the duty of the parents to see to it that they properly educate the children. See to it that they give them proper education. Because 
the child when he or she is born. They are not responsible for the environment in which they are born. It is the duty of the parents to see to it that irrespective of the environment, they give them proper education. And today we find that there are various societies and the various ways of life in this society. We have the Islamic way of life, we have the Western way of life, and we have a variety of different ways of life. As far as Islam is concerned, Islam is a complete way of life. It caters both to the spiritual aspect of the soul as well as the physical aspect of the body. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 3, On this day, have I completed your religion for you, and have completed my favor for you, and have chosen for you Islam. So once Islam is completed, nothing new can be added or subtracted from it. Our deen is complete. So as far as the way of life is concerned, Islam is a complete way of life. When we mix Islam with the other societies and other ways of life and other cultures, whichever culture we are living in, if that part of the culture is not against the Islamic Sharia, is not against the Quran and the Sai Hadith, we do not mind following or agreeing with that culture. But if that culture, if that society goes against Quran and Sai Hadith, we should not follow it. Islam is number one. And now we find that many a times while upbringing our children, we have a problem because of the differences in societies and cultures. And we are aware of the Western society, as many of the Muslims, they live in Western society, they are living in Western society. And we find that though the Western society, it is advanced in science and technology, but as far as moral values are concerned, they are declining. We find in the Western society that alcoholism is on the increase, Drug addiction is on the increase, obscenity is on the increase, adultery is on the increase, rape is on the increase, crime is on the increase. While educating our children, we should see to it that we give them a proper Islamic education. And while we train them and upbring them in a Western society or any society in the world, it may be an Eastern society also, we should see to it that we should, we should make them a good Muslim. That is, one who submits his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam comes from the root word salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word silm, which means to submit your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And any person who acquires peace by submitting his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is called as a Muslim. While educating our children, we should see to it that we should not get so much impressed by the Western society and educate them in that society. We should only take the correct values from the society. We don't want our children to become alcoholics, to become drug addicts, to become adulterers, to become rapists. We want them to be good Muslims who submit the will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that every child, he is born in Deen fitr Deen fitr means the innate religion. Every child is born as a Muslim. He submits his will to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Later on, the elders, the parents, the teachers, they influence the child. He may remain on the straight path or he may become a fire worshipper, he may become an idol worshipper, and then he may go out.